with game update 13 I know 1800 got a completely new game mode it's called a scenario it's a completely different map that you can see it here and you have some challenges to do the gameplay is also different and don't get me wrong I really loved it I think I had a great time with it but I've also observed a number of bugs. I'm Strike Gamer. Thank you too for tuning in into this new Anno 1800 episode. Why do I think it's important for you to know about those bugs? First of all is if you want to redo really the challenge properly, meaning as the developers intended it with, in a sense, without cheating, you need to know about those bugs so you don't exploit them by mistake. The second reason why is, well, I've gotten a lot of questions from people about this thing doesn't seem to work like I intend to or why is this happening? So I wanted to make sure everybody has visibility on what I know to be bugs or what I think to be bugs. And third and lastly, I'm planning to share this video with the Ubisoft team. Hopefully that could help them on one side confirm what is a bug or not a bug and on the other what see what they can do about them. If you're into strategy games, city building games, simulations like Anno 1800, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Let's get this one out of the way right away because it has been confirmed by Ubisoft. So this is the first, the only one where to be honest, I'm 100% sure this is a bug because Ubisoft said so. You have this fishing ship here, property of Juan the Fisherman, it's at the top of your island over here. It says, I should probably just give up and get back to fishing. Sometimes he says, you know, I don't know how to read that map. So he says things from time to time. And we know it is a quest, but basically it's just a quest that's not starting. <laughs> you, you, go, you can send your ship there, nothing happens. And there's probably a couple of islands around that we've seen that are probably linked to it. We don't know for sure. If you don't know about the islands around the map, I have an, a video that will appear now at the top called the event islands, you know, that definitely will show you all about this. So that was the first one, you know, don't try to do things with the ship. It just doesn't work. The second is definitely also a bug, or at least let's say something that wasn't intended by the devs because it completely breaks the challenge. The main point of the challenge is that when you do something, like when you cut trees, there is an impact. In particular, when you cut trees, your forestation here, which usually starts around minus, uh, plus 30, decreases. For most people, when you play normally, you know, you're going to have to cut trees to get wood, and therefore your forestation will go from a positive to usually a malus, right? Uh, and that will put this into negative that will make the air uh, echo balance really a challenge. Now there is a way to avoid that, which definitely again doesn't seem like base game. If you are in building sorting by progress, you will never see that way. And that's why I say it's a bug. You only see it if you go by building sorting by type. And then when you go there, you go into your culture, you are able to click on this tree painter, which against a bit of money, but honestly not a lot, will enable you to just plant trees. And when you plant those trees, it's not ornaments, it's real trees. You can see now my forestation is at 33. With this, you're basically able to plant trees every time you cut them or to plant trees everywhere on the map that you're not using and keep your forestation bonus very high, making you know the whole air eco balance not a challenge at all. That's why it's bug number two. You know, this is not intended. So don't use it if you don't want to cheat. Bug number three. There are some quests that require some resources. The most famous is this one. You have this temple here, Mizo and Pyramid. You click on it, you know, it's going to tell you it's locked. Then you click here. The entrance now will be open. Click. It is open. So you click again. And now you get into a large room and you're going to see um, something appear just now. It's saying I can either come back or I can give some spare timber from the ship. It's actually even telling you how many? Ten. I have zero in my ship, right? We all agree with that. Well, I can still click on it and I can still go to the next step. That's clearly a bug. I mean, if somebody tells me it's not a bug and even more so now, second step, you can just look around. You can give some caoutchouc or you can give some tools. And here again, we all agree I don't have any tools in my ship. I can still click on it. What's funny though is I can't click on this one for some reason, but I can still click on this one and get to the next step. You know, this is all positive stuff. This is the same. You will get the same messages if you actually had the tools. And here, you know, for example, if I do this, 
I get the item. So you can get the item without spending any of the resources. That has to be a bug. Similarly to what I showed you about the temple, when your echo balance is below the exclamation point, you usually get random quests. And in those quests, sometimes they ask you for resources. Similarly, in those quests, I've observed that you can usually click on it even when you don't have the resources. Or even worse, I mean, those quests are usually to force you to do something, right? Like to increase your balance back up or to build a building that will help with that. In this quest, I selected that, you know, I would go back up and then I canceled the quest and then nothing happened. That is a bug for me. You know, it can't be that the challenge asks you to do something and when you don't do it, nothing happens. I should get a negative an event, I should get, you know, a minus 20% productivity or something like this. To be frank, I'm pretty sure Ubisoft is going to come back to me and say, this is not a bug, this is as intended. But I disagree, it can't be as intended. I'm talking about the ruins inside the dam. You can see that now the dam is getting full, I still have the generator inside, nothing bad is happening. But that can't be real, I'm sorry, have you ever known a dam in which Right, like right in the middle of the dam where there's a lot of water, you're going to have a generator, tons of steel, tons of chemicals from the generator in there. That means the whole water is polluted. That, that, that just can't be right in a game that's promoting taking care of the environment in our development. Just a reminder, this is not a complaint video. I think this scenario is really great. I love that they did that, especially for free. So I'm really glad. Thank you, Ubisoft, for this. I just wanted to make sure that everybody had visibility on those bugs in particular so that you don't exploit them without knowing it. If you enjoyed this episode, don't hesitate to press the like button so that YouTube knows to share that with other people. And I hope to see you next time.